How's it going? How's it going, everyone? Uh, how everyone's doing today? Uh, today I wanna talk about MVP minimum valuable product and what that is and how important that is. Uh, for those who haven't released any product or services to the marketplace yet. Yet, so that's potentially one of the ways to do it. Uh, and uh, especially if you're new to starting out, I guess that's one way to look at it. Since uh, developing minimal valuable product, it's uh, potentially one of the system that you should at least know about and deliver your product or services. Uh, a concept behind it is you know, once you start thinking about what kind of value or value proposition you have to marketplace uh do not particularly spend too much time on developing that idea but try to reduce the time spent on uh your planning process and actually doing it and that's where potentially this concept comes in the only thing that you need to do is something that potentially would work and actually start doing it, minimizing the time required and but potentially resources and it's required to push it to the marketplace. Um, if we're going to be using this uh, concept idea of developing minimum valuable product and uh, perhaps use it as uh, developing technology, potentially uh, building an app, uh, app for something like finding a, or finding and booking a fitness class, something that uh, potentially uh, could be a very simple process to do. Uh, the minimum features that we would need to have would be, uh, it would need to have a search function, class details, and booking. Very simple process to develop an MVP. Something that can potentially be done within a matter of a week or so. Something uh in comparison to uh spending uh large budgets on developing a uh, process of large uh, ambitious projects uh, in comparison if we would start with something like minimum features to begin with from which we can focus more on development steps and overall process uh which would be overall based on the feedback of actual people who uh, would be using app and offering feedback and have that as continuous loop of redefining the process uh, that that works uh, slightly better uh, instead of uh, focusing on ambitious projects that uh, not necessarily would work uh, once we have uh, development steps ready that can potentially be uh, build basic app and test it uh, once it's uh, operational we can release it and have that continues through a loop of feedback coming in from customers using an app well, it's very hard to always spend a lot of time thinking about that uh, uh, better to based on I think on everyone's experience especially working with the software have a beta version of overall technology release it and have a uh, and potentially have uh, customers to test that software and based on our customers experience and the feedback we can improve that software uh, i think it's a really good process overall uh, the, that's the only reason why i would be recommending myself uh, uh, to try it uh, see what you think about it uh, you can constantly improve that once you have that ready and operational. Uh, release constant updates for software. And uh, as I mentioned to you, uh, that would be backbone of uh, overall system that you can implement uh, for your next product or services that you are planning of uh, releasing to the marketplace in the near future. Same, uh, potentially, same, uh, same process can work for many things. Uh, I took the software development process in, as an example, but uh, I don't want uh, I don't want anyone to get stuck 
I guess, any details about uh, working just with the software. It, the same process can be used for many different products or services, offerings or process of how to redefine the process of uh, working on those kind of elements. A continuous release or a minimum valuable product within the market in the fastest time possible uh, without too much of uh, expenditure of your resources. Redefine the process once it's been released based on feedback or customer experience and keep updating and growing from there instead of uh, constantly uh, because I think Max. Uh, potentially a uh, vast amount of people are thinking about it and they not necessarily know or have a budget necessary to develop a large project even if that would be perhaps smaller projects to begin with and from those you can progress into large ones and once you have that responsibility of working with your own budget you would <laughs> think for yourself how you are planning of uh, releasing large projects within the and how much uh, resources may potentially gonna cost and all this process overall if it's going to be successful and how you're going to reduce that risk uh it's a lot of things to think about but i think it's this uh, uh, particular principle is one of the best that i can think of but if not feel free to leave your comment and i'm definitely going to take a look at even perhaps if there are better systems in place Uh, if I would be looking on a good old internet, <laughs> what internet says, it's a uh, process would look, uh, would look like uh, with potential steps. That's not, this is not necessarily the best way to do it, but uh, that's one of the ways to do it. Once you have an idea or a concept, uh, have some think about what potentially uh, offer you can have to marketplace for your product or services and how you're gonna bring it to the market, right? Uh, what kind of features is it gonna have? What's the design? And what's gonna be a framework for it? Uh, you, then you need to develop that or at least spend a little bit of time of thinking about, okay, what's the product or services that are potentially we're gonna be looking to introduce to the market uh, space. Uh, from there, you need to uh, assess uh, or spend some time on testing and quality, make sure the quality is right, or uh, very minimal branding, ideally. <laughs> but some, especially if, if you are new within the space, uh, you can spend a lot of time on branding and marketing, but let your product or services talk for themselves in terms of quality or in terms of branding. Uh, and have a lunch. Uh, once you have a lunch, your product and services, uh, you should refine it or have continuous pro process of refining your products and services. That's the beauty of this process. You have a, a feedback loop which would help you to refine your product and services instead of you sitting by next to that table, I guess, and refining it, uh, what you think might work actually release it and uh, based on your customers or general public uh, what kind of feedback they are potentially going to offer to you and based on the feedback you can refine it uh, and uh, have that as a continuous process and constantly come back to that and reintroduce uh, perhaps different products or services. Uh, uh, once you have feedback uh, spend a little bit of time analyzing that feedback and interactive development to the customer services and uh, uh, have that as well within the system uh, think about scaling and growing and then uh, after a particular time frame that you perhaps had initially you have full product development process in place then and uh, from a soft launch of the product you can go to a hard launch of the product that's overall uh just of it uh it's oversimplifying it how it can look like uh for those who haven't seen it i have released a quarter planner uh to organize your time around your day and how to structure your day around time 
uh, and potentially organize or at least understand uh, budget as well for your finances and a lot how people should think about finances uh, organizing their money reducing your expenditure casting uh, uh, cutting your bleeding potentially <laughs> if you're overspending if you're not uh, organizing your time uh, your money that's a lot of red flags I guess if anyone uh, should start anywhere I would say organizing those couple of things as well as perhaps taking a look at the uh, dictionary and understanding some of the things or financial terms when it comes to organizing your finances and uh, legal language uh, around finances, accounting, and uh, contracts, I guess, uh, contractual agreements. So some of the areas that uh, there's a lot of information here by one who is interested. Uh, I'll share a link in the description. Take a look at it. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, I uh, appreciate uh, your time and uh, hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one, thank you.